Good morning, everybody. It is December the 16th this Friday. You guys, I hope you have a good Friday and everything. Right now, um, I am on my way to go to Goodwill. I have some things I need to donate. I got my fur baby with me. She's gonna go for a ride. So I'm trying to do this before I go to FedEx. It is cold out here, you guys. It's 42 degrees out here in Dallas. So I'm just trying to stay warm and get a few things done. So far, I've accomplished um, doing some things around the house. So now I gotta um, get rid of some of these things here. So hopefully somebody can use them. So anyway, let me get off. I hope you guys are having a good day and I will just talk to you a little bit later. You guys might not believe this, but it looked like it's trying to snow out here. It's just like, it's not like big flakes or anything, but they're coming down, not like a drizzle. It's crazy. I hope we don't get any snow. I don't know if that was in the forecast or whatnot, but I know last night it got down in the 30s, so it is cold enough to snow, so hopefully we don't get any, because I don't want to be having to drive and go to work in snow. Anyway, let me continue on my journey. Tonight, South Oak Cliff tries to defend their title. Duncanville and DeSoto are playing in Alito tomorrow in your stadium. I can always remember John Steven and your son Steven celebrating the unbelievable comeback of, of Highland Park. How much do you still watch these state championship games? When I go to them, I watch them uh, only in Texas. I'll assure you we've got the greatest football in this country. And we have it beginning at that, not beginning, but we have it in full blown uh, excellence at the high school level. And there's no reason. I used to say this, and I still do. If we could have exclusively North Texas, the Dallas Cowboys, and we only got the players out of North Texas, but we were the only ones that could get them. Cowboys had exclusive to North Texas. I think we'd win the Super Bowl every year. I'm here at Goodwill now, so I'm gonna get this um, these things out and I'm going and donate them. So uh, let me get this done. So I'm gonna leave you right here. And um, okay, let me back up. I'm gonna back up in there. No, I'm not handicapped, but I'm just putting stuff, donating. It shouldn't be a problem to, to back up in here for a, a few seconds. One second. Let me go and um, I'm gonna leave you right here. I'm gonna donate this stuff because it's too much stuff that I don't need. You're right there. Stay. Have a nice day. Same to you. All right, that was easy peasy. Got that out of the way. So now I've got a lot done. I've been up since about eight o'clock, washed clothes, got them in the dryer. Now I need to go home and fold them. And I still got time to eat. And before I have to yeah, eat before I have to go to FedEx. So today is gonna be a busy day because I also go to work at the hospital. So I gotta get moving. Anyway, talk to you guys in a little bit. <clears throat> hey everybody, how you guys doing? I am now leaving FedEx. And let me tell you today, I can't complain about it being slow because it was not slow today. Um, I had three trucks that I was loading. And um, let me tell you, it was busy. I cannot complain about being slow at all. Uh -uh, not today. So anyway, I got to go home now and I have to go and um, start getting ready to go to the hospital because it's my my week. You know, my nights, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when I work at the hospital. So 
Girl is busy on, um, like I tell you before, Fridays and Mondays are hard days. So hopefully we don't be too bad at the hospital tonight. But anyway, let me get ready to move and get on this freeway before it's too uh, crowded. Talk to y'all later. It will be 32 degrees. This car is a fire. And you know that place is gonna be rocking. Whose car is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I went and had my main tame so I had to use my backup beautician because my regular beautician that I use all the time she is booked until January and if you could feel my roots if you know how I feel about these roots and if you know how thick my hair is then you have to get them done too but anyway I just finished getting my hair done I'm really tired probably even look it because I am <clears throat> I worked at the hospital last night and I also worked at FedEx. So I am on my way to the house and um, I need some rest. So anyway, yeah, that's, it's not, I don't have a lot planned today because I do have to go to work, but I did want to come and get my hair done. And um, yeah, that's about it. So how's you guys Saturday? How's your Saturday? What you guys have planned on, on this Saturday? So, um, yeah, let's go on and get out of here. This is actually in um, South Lake, Texas. So um, I'm out here. Um, she moved to a different location. So it was interesting trying to find this place. Um, it looked like it's inside. Um, it's like a little shopping area where this where she's located. So anyway, I am going to get off and um, I'll come back a little bit later. have a good one i am here at work so let me get back to work so just want to come on and say happy new year so let me go call my son see if he's awake and um wish him a happy new year you guys be blessed Bye -bye. happy new year everybody thank you for tuning in to sheree brown tv i just want to come on for a moment today um it is what's today's day it is actually january the second yeah the second tuesday I don't have my calendar in front of me, but I believe it is the second. And um, I just wanted to come on just for a few moments. So today I was supposed to go to FedEx. I worked at the hospital last night. I did my three shifts already. And um, what did I do? I overslept. And we only had six hours of work time for this week. I don't know. I guess it's just really slow at FedEx. And what I do, I overslept. So uh, me and my fur baby Isis, we are on our way to... Um, go to Walmart and maybe run a few other errands. I need to go pick up some, a few things there. So that's where we are on our way to. So I will take you with me. So
everybody I made it to Walmart I need to pick up a few things here and <clears throat> excuse me and then I will um, see what I need to do next I got my little fur baby with, baby with me and um, she loves to ride with me everybody her birthday is coming up it will be on January the 4th she'll be 14 years old so yeah um, let me just get ready so I can uh, go inside Walmart and I'll take you with me Here and just get a few things in here at Walmart and then um, going to do the next thing. I haven't really decided since I um, since I overslept turn my camera around since I overslept I'm not really sure what I want to do now. I know I have a few things that I, I can do at home but we'll see. It is humid out here in Dallas right now and they're talking about it might rain so we'll We'll find out to what happens. <laughs> I'm looking, one of the things I'm looking for is, um, it's like the powdered beads. And um, let's see if they have it. They used to have it. Now I don't see it. Let's see what's over here. And it tastes really good when I mix it with my lemonade. My boyfriend thinks it tastes gross, but I don't know. I guess you just have to have a acquired taste for it. So that's one of the things I'm looking for. I don't see the, the brand I used to buy. Hmm. Let's see. I see everything else. Okay, are we out of dove today? I could do a commercial for dove because I have been using dove for like over 30 years. It's like one. I have a whole lot of different ones here. Uh, selections. Which one is this one? I don't want that, that scent. I usually buy that size, but I don't want that scent. I'm going to get this one today. Okay. I couldn't find the beet powder that I normally buy, so I still have the container. I have a little bit left in the container, so what I'm going to do is. Um, go online and see if I can purchase it. The one that I like, let's see, where is it at? They didn't have it. And it smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Is that it? The eucalyptus, oh my gosh, that smells so good. I don't want to buy two of them, I just want one. Especially after I work um, at FedEx, we tell you, 
This feels so good when you're taking your bath. It just relaxes your muscles. Look at that. One that I like. One of my guilty pleasures that I like, and I've always, since I was a kid, hot dogs. I love me some hot dogs. My cousins will tell you, she will make the hot dog. She just love her hot dogs, but not just any kind of hot dog, you guys. I like my ballpark. Now, I have, it has to be the beef ones. So. I need a whole lot. I gotta go get one more, one, two more things, and then um, I'm out of this store. That is my guilty pleasure, and these are good too. But I don't have a taste for that today. All right, they're playing some Whitney, so I'm gonna turn this off. All right, I got some of the things that I needed. I couldn't find one or two of the items, so it is what it is, but I am gonna go online to see about um, finding um, that beet powder. I really like that because it really gives me a lot of energy. I like beets anyway, especially the pickle beets. Sorry, just trying to look, make sure I can get over. And um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get that online because I don't see that uh, particular brand that I um, normally buy. So I am going to um, Got to run a few other errands, and then I guess I'm going to go home. But I, there's some things that I want to do, especially since I'm off. And I really don't get this opportunity that often to um, just be off of both jobs. So I'm kind of excited. It's especially working like seven days a week. That gets old. And not only does it get old, you just get kind of tired. <laughs> so let's slide this in this back here first a little fur baby she's in there waiting for me let's see here right, that's where I can get this basket uh, oh, it's over here I'm gonna get it feels good. It's a little humid today, but it actually kind of feels good. It's a whole lot better than when it was like really cold. Look at this. I just happened to go and um, my light does not do, but I said, let me go in here and check and see what, um, what it is. And I'm glad I did. So I wouldn't pay half on it now. That feels about to be almost 200 something dollars. Because when it get cold, the girl is not about to be cold at all. Oh, my hair is blowing like crazy. Say hi to everybody. Everybody, again, Isis is about to be four, excuse me, 14 years old. You say hi, mommy's back. You happy to see me? You making your appearance? All right, you guys, let me um, get started and. Um, Yes, a few other things I think I want to do today. It's it's nice, but they were talking about it was supposed to rain, so who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well on this new year. Um, what are you guys' plans? Do you have resolutions? I don't make any anymore. I know there's things that I got to do, 
and uh, just write them down and start getting uh, getting to them. So that's with me. I know one of them, like I said, like I said, I don't make resolutions because a lot of times I don't keep up with them. I might start it and I don't complete them. For example, going to the gym, okay? And uh, my son has been on me, mommy, 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 you need to go work out. It's like, you know, I get work out. I get enough exercise at FedEx, but I do, it does help to go to the gym. So I am going to start doing that. So maybe later on today, I might just go to the gym and work out. So we will see. All right. If I do that, I'll take you with me. So let me get this, uh, get moving. I mentioned um, I was looking for some bee powder and this is the brand that I was looking for. So I am going to go online and um, purchase this. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I really like this because it gives me a lot of energy, energy, and um, it really helps me a lot. So if you are one who really don't like beets or whatnot, this may be another alternative for you and it really helps.